welcome in. This is my Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town Popuri run. We're gonna try to marry our girl Popuri as fast as possible. It's been a while that I did this run, but I think now that I'm actually a little bit of a more experienced runner, I think I can improve my time. But I don't want to jinx it, so we'll see. We'll we'll figure it out, okay? And go. Our birthday is summer third. All right. Dog name A, farm name A. We love the variety. Oh, we get a good field. Nice. Good field means that there's no big boulders or no tree stumps in the way, at least like at the first sight. Like the field can still look a little rough going further down, but it's already good to have like a little bit of an indicator that here on top at least we won't have any issues. This is important later to um, plant, um, plant a couple of things. For the dialogue, we just use the directional buttons to skip as fast as possible. This is saving us a couple of seconds as well. It's just much faster than to just press A, so you just like press the directional buttons. And the other cool thing that comes from this is actually that you don't accidentally go into like wrong dialogue options. So I was press and then I have another look and then I press the option. We're gonna see that in a second as well. Um, but yeah, basically we are spending time as a little boy on this farm. We meet a girl as well. We're making friends and then we have to go back into the city. And we've been uh, writing letters with the old man and suddenly he stopped replying and that's when we came investigating um, to find out that he passed away. And uh, now Thomas, the mayor here, is asking us to take over the farm. So naturally that's what we're going to do because we have nothing to better to <laughs> nothing better to do with our life. Um, here we go. There's still a little bit more dialogue. Okay, we don't really need anything here. I can't see our dog yet, which is a little bit of a problem. Usually you want to see the dog right away so you can like grab him and move him inside. But I can't see him right now, so we probably have to ignore that for the second. <sighs> Alright. Maybe once we ship the honey. I'll have a look out. Basically what we do on the first day, we just ship honey and blue grasses. Blue grasses are basically... Um, just some herbs we find in the mountains. And they respawn every day. They're kind of like the most efficient way to make money at the beginning. And spoiler alert, money is kind of like the main issue in the early game. It also is the decisive factor later for an RNG event that we have to unfortunately go through that always like decides whether you want to like, I don't know, actually do the run or reset the run. Oh, there's our doggo. That's perfect. So I'm really glad that we didn't go look for him earlier so we move him into the house what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna make a warp save this is gonna help us warping later and one more thing that i'm gonna do is actually take out the hose i'm not forgetting this perfect and that's already wait forgot the most important thing <laughs> we go to bed with our dog um uh, the reason is that the game calculates the movement of the dog and if the game does that, it actually loads much slower, so we actually always go to bed with the dog. Which is kind of cute, uh, not gonna lie. Like, all dog owners should be, should be running this game, because you have to take the dog to bed. Like, I guess you don't have to, but, you know, in the matter of speedrunning, you definitely should. Not sure why my game is, like, lagging so weirdly. Maybe something is wrong. We'll see. I'll just keep running like this for now. It just seems to sync very weirdly. I'll check in a sec. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me, but maybe... Uh, maybe 
maybe the emulation is just as tired as I am today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretty much do the same thing. One thing we're gonna do today though is we're already laying grounds for eight fields that we're gonna need. Um, I always like to mark the top of them. So we have one, two, three, two, um, three. Just get this out of the way. Okay. Alrighty. Um, so I think this is four, I believe. Okay, one, two, three, four, yeah? So we need the same amount again. Alrighty, let me just empty my pockets. Um, I always take a little bit of time for this, so I'm not too stressed tomorrow. And then I also know exactly that I'm gonna have enough space to plant everything I need later on. I basically choose the space where I have to clear the least. Um, um, yeah. This, this, and this. I think that should be enough. I think that should be eight, yeah. Alrighty. Cool. Gonna empty my pockets. But one thing I need, take one with me. Alright. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the Tuesday. Gonna go to bed again. So we just put something in our pocket with the sole factor that on the next day, always on the fourth of the month, we get a visit uh, from Juan and he wants to sell us something. But if we're holding an item, we actually skip that cutscene. Today we're not gonna ship the honey, we're actually gonna keep it. Um... And I'm just uh, finishing up these fields here until like 8.30. Because um, we have to wait until the supermarket opens. Found a power berry, nice. I mean, I don't know if that's nice, uh, it doesn't really matter. So we have three, four. Okay, and then seven, and then eight. That should be perfect in time. So it's pretty much like optimized in time. That's why we only do a part of it on the day before, because now we're pretty much done at 8.30. I think I threw away the twig. That's important. All right. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy six potato seeds and two turnip seeds. And I run a couple of experiments, so the number is intended. Um, that's first of all what we can afford. And second of all, it's also the idea amount that will yield us almost like 99.9% .9 of the time, like guaranteed crops. Um, the reason for this is that we're gonna hire one of the harvest sprites. The harvest sprites live here behind the church and you basically have to be f make friends with them first in order for them to help you but it happens to be Bolt's birthday on the 4th so if we give him a gift he's actually gonna help us right away and we can hire him for watering for a week. And that's really cool. Oh no, I'm always making this mistake. Why is it? Why is that always happening to me? Did, now we're gonna do our first warp. Gonna save on the second. Gonna load the first file. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> it's already a mess, alright. And we load the second file. And now we're back. That was our first warp. I can explain how that works in a sec. One, two, three, four. The order matters here as well. Five and six. Um, so about that warping trick, um, it's basically 
uh, we are saving. Just in the moment, we would go into, like, you saw we have a save file in our house, and we basically uh, bring up the start menu the moment we would actually leave the house. Um, like, we would actually, like, get into the new load zone, which is outside. Um, but what we do is we press start and load the other file, but what that does is the old loading zone will stay loaded and in the new file we just go out also into a new loading zone but the old one will load so that's how you warp in this game and the order for sowing out the seed matters as well um, so the harvest sprites are super cool but they have a limit in how many crops they can water every day I think I did everything um, and uh, therefore um, you can only buy a certain amount um, of, of crops. Um, so if you buy seven potato seeds and one turnip seed, that's already too much. And most of the time you will have leftover crops that will not be watered. Um, you rely here very much on the rainy days in spring. The more rainy days you have, the more likely it is that you get all the crops in the end. You don't want to have only sunny days, which is like unlikely, but right now we're only having sunny days. So hopefully we're going to get some more, um, hopefully we're going to get some more thingies. Also these splits might be completely wrong by the way, because I'm actually using a different route and I just realized that, uh, oops. Well, maybe we have to reset for the horse race anyway, so. I'm just gonna keep on running this with uh, the bat splits but I mean yeah in the old route that I run we're only having sunny days hello can I get a rainy day please please I need one come on give me one no <laughs> that actually okay I actually never had like sun only usually you get a couple of rainy days in spring but you know what we're just gonna run with it. Another rainy day, a uh, non-rainy day. That's so funny. I'm actually really curious how the field looks like. No, it should be. Yeah, look over there. There's three that are not watered, but that's actually okay. We can either check the weather if it will rain on one of the days. and harvest ourselves before the horse race. No, we should be fine. I'll just check the weather. If not, we can water them ourselves. Meaning we will lose a couple of seconds, but I guess it's okay. I might have some downtime on one of the days. So we're doing the same thing again. We're taking the blue grass. We need to wait for the um, Harvest Sprite's hut to open. It opens at 9. So 7 days are over and Bold has done all the watering. But we don't want to harvest ourselves because that costs a lot of time. So what we're doing instead is we're gonna hire Bold again and it actually works out really well um, here in this route from Desert um, to, to hire the the harvest sprites just in time before the friendship decreases and he wouldn't like water for us anymore or like harvest for us anymore because in this game friendship decays as well uh, which is also like a random mechanic in these runs so for example your marriage candidate has a 10% chance every day to like have a random drop in affection which is a little bit annoying and uh, you know you can be really unlucky here too all right, gonna go help, please. And we're gonna harvest. We're gonna harvest for three days. And then we're gonna... Can I risk it? Am I right here? Let's see, okay. All right, yeah, that was perfect. All right, and now we sell the grass. And I think that's pretty much it for today. So we're just gonna hope that we're gonna have a oh tomorrow's a rainy day, that's perfect. So that that's probably gonna solve our issue with the turnips. Because luckily it was only turnips that were affected by this. Um and the turnips have a growth time of four days. So 
usually it doesn't take much for them to be harvestable. Um, now we sleep again until the 16th. This is... yeah. Fifteen and sixteen. It's funny in these rats you never start like gifting your bachelorettes early, like your marriage candidate. Um, earlier in these runs, you would definitely always. And look, everything's harvested. Amazing. Um, you would always like start gifting very early in the runs. Like you would actually f spend most of your time in spring, and now we're just breezing through. Um, because we're horse racing and that is where all the RNG of this run is. Ideally, it takes us like 20 minutes to get to the horse race. Not sure if I'm going to run this run either way. I mean, for a marathon, you would probably make a safe backup file or something. Um, however, I would do that, but um, it can be, it can be a little bit annoying. Alrighty, and today is a very important day as well. We actually buy the basket, which is one of the most important things we need for the first horse race. The basket is an item that stores 30 items. Um, you can put them in, but you can't take them out. So all you can do is once you have the basket and you put items in, you can only ship them. So it's like a cumulative sale. Um, I'm just running here because the character will actually go to sleep after a while and then it takes some time to wake him up. So I'm just always like running against the door, even though that makes me look like this, like, do you know the meme? Like, let me in. <laughs> All right, here's the basket. And this the basket is also the reason why we actually need to um, make that money with the crops at the beginning, because otherwise we couldn't afford this basket. Uh, we're actually not warping back right now. We're actually gonna go to the beach first and pick up some of the grasses to have a little bit more money. As orange grasses as well. You want to definitely focus on the yellow ones because they're worth 20 gold more than the orange ones. Uh, but with the basket now, it's not a problem. So we're just gonna save, gonna load, and hopefully. So you gotta be fairly precise with where you stand, but it's not like, like I'm gonna say it's, it's not like pixel perfect, but it's like fairly pixel perfect. <laughs> I think we did everything we needed to do, so we're just gonna turn in. And what we're doing now is... Saving. Um, save. Here. And then what we do is we hard reset. And then we button mash. Button mash! Button mash, button mash, button mash. This is an RNG manip. I have no idea how this works, but our goal is to land in like 240 frames of the next day, which is the horse race day. So today's horse race day. And um, this means that basically Every run comes down to this event, to the first horse race. You just gotta be lucky. At the horse race, we bet money. Uh, like, we buy a currency called medals, and every horse has a multiplier. So, the medals will be. Um, will be multiplied by, like, the winning horse. And that multiplier is unfortunately random. So we need... Like a certain multiplier. And there's a chart. 
a race chart that the community made that I just totally didn't open because I was totally prepared for this run. Um, and ideally we want to like hit one of those uh, races in the chart so we know what we have to do. What I also do here is I do a soft save in case we have an unexpected winner with a good multiplier, so I can either reset to the day before or I can reset to the the 10 minutes before the race, which is now. Like the races start at 10, we can't enter before that. Um, I just have to remember to do this on the other file. And now, fingers crossed. Never knew how that goes. All right, let's see. Place a bet. Is this race in the chart? This one is in the chart and that is perfect because that's a 13 multiplier. And if everything goes well, we actually got this. Oh, it looks like... Oh! Interesting. Why is horse number four not winning? Wait, is four, horse number four like catching up now? <gasps> oh, that was so good! I thought the chart was wrong. Oh my god. And we got exactly the amount of medals we need. This is actually a per... This is a perfect horse race. Oh my god. I just got a perfect horse race. Never thought this would happen to me. We have we have to watch all of them for the event to be over. We can't leave before we watched all of them. So we're just gonna enjoy the music. It's pretty fun. The thing is, race number two and three are always random. So you can only like, if race one is good and a multiplier wins, like here's a three multiplier that would have never been enough to give us enough medals. Um, and Yeah. Wow, I, I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> I think I only had that once happen. Like a completely perfect horse race. So yeah, these medals are there to buy brooches. We buy 30 brooches, all of the brooches that fit in the basket. And um, this was a 17 multiplayer, but number three is random. So we couldn't have replicated this with a soft resetting. All right, here we go, the big counting. Not that I have to, because I don't think I can afford more. I think I can afford one more, but I don't have to. So I don't think I need to count actually in this case. Also, the thing is, I, I only have to count when I have to buy additional items. So in the Anne run, for example, we have to buy two truffles. And the thing is, if I accidentally, because my inventory only has two slots. And if I block one with a brooch and I need to actually like get my two truffles into the inventory, um, then I actually need to throw away an item. And I don't know if that actually works when I'm at a festival. So in the worst case, I actually had to leave my basket behind. <laughs> I think it works to throw something away, but throwing things away is also not great in terms of... Um, how to say that? Uh, oh yeah, littering actually decreases affection with everyone in the village. So you don't want to litter. There's a big um, garbage bin at the square here where you can like actually throw trash into or like throw anything into and it won't be counted as littering or you throw away things on your farm. But yeah, we, we just want to get these perches as fast as possible. No pressure. This is a perfect run. No pressure at all. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm recording, right? I'm recording right now. <laughs> Gee. 
Why is it always going so well off stream? I swear. <sighs> Alrighty. A little bit more. We basically just have to use up all the medals because 540 is the price for 30 brooches and we had 559 I believe. So I think we have 19 leftover medals. So only a few more. Usually we count like <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> I'm always like, count with me, chat. One, two, and then we're like, haha, this was really fun. <laughs> but secretly, everyone's sick of it already. But my mods are always great. They're always amazing to count with me. I'm still not like amazing at menuing, but I hope that's gonna come with time. It's just really hard sometimes to gauge like where to stop. Oh, I think now I'm... yeah. Gonna take one more, why not? Alrighty, this is it! Back to work. And now we just sell them. Alright. And yeah, that's it. Perfect horse race. Perfect horse race. My goodness. I can't believe it. That's so wild. And uh, <laughs> I'm like, I can't. I honestly, like, who? Okay. My splits are like, I know we're like totally, totally gone right now. Right now should be the 21st. All right, now we do TV shopping. Every Saturday you can TV shop, which means you can uh, get an item and then you can go to the inn and order it with the phone. I know, real old school. That's really fun, actually. Uh, we're not ordering right away. We're actually sleeping until the 23rd. And we need a sunny Wednesday, so we're actually gonna save before we go to bed here. Ah. <sighs> Save. Oh yeah, I need to actually make a new farm warp as well. Okay, so in order to check if Wednesday is sunny, we always need to save the day before. Like two days before, and then the weather is determined here, so we get a sunny Wednesday, that's perfect. Oh, actually I don't need to set a farm warp save, that's fine. I need to set an in-warp safe again. Oh, that's awesome. Amazing. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the inn. The inn opens at 8. And we're going to order our item. And then we're going to set the in-warp safe. In order to not always having to wait until... Um, until 8. Until it opens. I kind of want to like... Yeah, my horse race split was much better, but I think we're just gonna go by dates. I'm actually really glad I have a couple of um, date splits in there, so I have a li little bit of an orientation right now in how long I take, because the hard events here are just triggered at different times than the old route, and I'm sorry, super unprofessional. Wrong splits, but um, I don't know. I feel like you're not a real speedrunner until you actually like messed up your splits like hard enough and me and my splits are definitely best friends so now we ordered the clock and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set a warp safe up here it's always a little bit hard to see i hope yeah this should be enough uh safe data one again perfect and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a couple more things we're gonna actually wait until the supermarket opens and this is very typical in this run like when you already have to do one thing in a day you try to chain it so you 
actually do everything you can in a day to like make most efficient use because certain places just open at certain times so now it's already it was already eight so now we only have to wait one hour more until the supermarket opens and that's essentially like the time savers here as well shout outs to desert for making all these notes like seriously um, we're gonna buy the backpack and five chocolates. Um, perfect. Gonna wrap the chocolates. If we wrap a gift, it will be giving you 25% more affection points. So chocolate gives Poppery, I think 500 affection points each, as far as I remember. And then with wrapped it's gonna be like 625 and that obviously like adds up wrapping is fairly short as opposed to yeah now we have to go gift poppery and I think she should be somewhere around here, somewhere. And at 11.20 we actually trigger the first heart event. So actually doing this later. I hope she's gonna come here. She should, she should come along here. Oh yeah, there she is. Hello! Nice to meet you. Here's a gift. Totally not creepy or anything. And now we're waiting until 11.20 to trigger the first heart event. Alright, and now we have to exit. And now this is the first heart event. Amazing. So this is also something we speed through. So Poppery is the daughter of Lilia and they have the chicken farm. And she's like super cute. <laughs> I definitely do love chickens. Alive ones. <laughs> Alrighty. The chicken is just falling into the house. It's the cutest thing ever. But we have something else on our agenda, because it's already 11 and that's so handy, is we can actually go to GOTS and get our first house expansion, because now we have all that horse racing money. Um, so this is amazing, we need 200 wood, we're not chopping this ourselves anymore. I think a couple of old runs, they actually chop the wood themselves. That takes forever. We can't warp back because we set the in warp. So we're just running back right now. Don't need to do anything more. And yeah, that it's it's a pretty this was a very busy day, but yeah. This is as exciting as it gets. <laughs> so now we just sleep until Saturday again to get the next um, TV shopping item. And see Gots is just in our house. He's just turning up like that. We're not asking any questions. <laughs> We're not asking any questions. All right, here we go. We get our item delivered. And now we are watching TV again. The mirror. Perfect. And now we're gonna warp into the inn. If I can. <laughs> um, save. Data 2. The amount of mistakes you can make here with like saving accidentally on like the wrong file. And look, it's like magic. And we warped ourselves into the inn even though it's not even open yet. <laughs> All right, amazing. Yeah. And this is our massive time saver for like buying these items. This this is very similar in all the marriage runs. It's like the ones that I've ran so far at least, which is 
Potpourri Anne and Mary. The Mary run is like such a pain. I really need to figure out how to be fast in that one. I think I did everything. All right. And we're about to enter summer after like 34 minutes. That's actually wild. That is actually wild. Something we need to do in summers because we're basically mainly going to TV shop. Um, but something we need to do in summer is actually to save on Thursdays. Um, because in summer and also in winter, every day can have a random storm. There can also be storms on consecutive days, like it's so it's super random. And um, on the storm days, you can't watch TV. So you need to be sure that your Saturdays are actually not like it doesn't have to be nice weather, but it can't storm like it can rain and it can be sunny, but it can't storm. So that's why we always save on the Thursdays. I always save very slow just because I don't want to make a mistake. Because <laughs> I think uh, that just messes up the run and that's... That's the one second that I take. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I forgot to check the weather. Uh, it doesn't matter, like if it storms today I can reset. <sighs> So usually I check the weather, but the weather is nice, so that's amazing. A refrigerator. So we're just gonna clear again for the mirror, and then we're just gonna warp ourselves into the inn to get a... ...refrigerator. Oh no. I'm always so greedy with my positioning. <laughs> Like, I'm like, I can go one pixel further down, and then the game is like, no, you can't. <laughs> okay. It's the con- it's- it's the controller, for sure. <laughs> I'm a professional speedrunner. Alright, and then we just go back again. That's all we have to do. Oh, I actually didn't have to buy. Oh no. Ah, that's all right. I just had to check the TV shopping. But now we save on the Tuesday for a sunny Thursday. And I think that's because it's Popperi's birthday. So Popperi's birthday usually is summer third, but we took that birthday. So it's actually a week later. Um, On Tuesday I save. All right. We are saving. Now we're just gonna check that it's actually a sunny day. Now we need a sunny day. A rainy day would not be enough. Because on a rainy day, it actually takes much longer to get hold of certain people. Oh my God, it's actually storming. See, good that we saved. See, that's why you save. That was a storm. My goodness. Please no storm, please. No, it's gonna be sunny, that's perfect. I don't think we're gonna lose terribly much time. Um... Gifting Poppery, she should come out of her house at 7. So usually we would warp to the inn now and then we would run back, but I don't think we lose terribly much here. I hope positioning here is actually gonna be fine. So at 7 on the sunny days, Poppery and Anne go to the waterfall in the mountains. So they leave their house at a fairly early time, which makes these runs actually quite fast. Because for example, Mary, you only get hold of her very early on Mondays because she actually goes to the mountains. But other than that, she always like leaves the house at 10. Um... 
I should have saved. Oh no. Please no storm on Please no storm tomorrow, okay. I'm lucky. Lucky. <laughs> All right. All righty. Oh. I'm getting sloppy. Okay, the shelves. Gonna warp to the inn. And now we're just gonna go order the item. Should be a little bit more concentrated. Maybe I shouldn't talk as much. But talking is the good part. I want you all to get into these runs and enjoy them. Yeah, we're gonna wait for Poppery to leave again here. I should have gifted her yesterday too, but we're just gonna make we're gonna make that up. Trust. <laughs> Trust. scared that she's actually gonna run through me when I stand so close to the door but and on Sundays we also don't get hold of poppery so on Sundays we basically never really do anything so we have to like wait for Mondays to actually gift because I think on Sundays poppery is going to church and not to the mountains um, later on though, we can actually enter the house very early, like once I think we have the purple heart. So it wouldn't matter as much anymore. We got a shelf, amazing. I wish I would have brought some water. Maybe I can get some water during the second horse race. All right, we're just gonna gift Poppery again here. Totally not creepy that we just wait on her doorstep to like gift her something. <laughs> but you know, you know how it goes. Girls do love chocolate, can confirm. And now we're gonna buy the second backpack and I think eight chocolates because I have one leftover. We'll see actually have a look real quick yeah I have one leftover so I buy eight so now we just wait I can actually show like the sleeping um oh, I'm, block I'm blocking the way <laughs> and I'm going to bed all right I'm just gonna run causing less trouble for everyone in the in the village if we're just running against the door let me in let me in, Jeff, please. We need to buy some chocolate. Ch chocolate! <laughs> Not the chocolate meme, oh no. Okay, we're gonna buy it. backpack number two. So now we have all that horse race money. And now we buy eight chocolates. And wrap them. That is the goal. cool part is that Poppery actually also likes honey as far as I know. I mean all of them like honey, but I think Poppery likes honey more than the others. Correct me if I'm wrong. So in case I run out and the supermarket happens to be closed on one of the days, it's gonna be fine. Actually can't warp back now, which is real tragic. The, that's the first and only time I actually have to run back. <laughs> Sad. It feels so weird not to warp. But... We still have our warp space in the inn and I'm sure we're still gonna need it. 
And we also can't go to bed with dog tonight. Ugh, everything sucks. <gasps> we needed the sunny Wednesday as well. I should have saved. Oh no. Oh my god, why am I so lucky? I should not be this lucky. Uh, I really need to save. <laughs> Gonna gift Poppery again. Remind me... to save. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> Yeah. We're running risky today. All right. She loves it. Amazing. Tomorrow we trigger the next heart event, actually. Upon leaving the house. Doggo? Hello? All right, and yeah, therefore it has to be sunny on this Wednesday, which is why you should have saved the day before. But we are so lucky. Uh, and we did not get the heart event. Did we have too little affection? Maybe we got too little affection. That's okay. I'll try tomorrow. Can it only be on Wednesdays? Her heart is still not purple, even with the extra gift day, so I really wonder. It's a little early. Um, it's okay. I'm actually gonna start saving now, just in case. We need to save anyway, though, oh, because it's Thursday. The good part is that the purple heart event, we actually don't need to be anywhere or go anywhere. We just literally just need to leave the farm. So I think having some variance here is totally fine. <laughs> It's good that we get a couple of sunny days too, so we can gift Poppery as well. Now her heart is purple. Okay, I really hope that we can trigger it tomorrow. Okay, let me not forget to save before I go to sleep. Okay, save. We actually already, like, we're already in the next split. I'm totally messed up with my splits. <laughs> now it's happening, look. We can do sure I'm, and I should have checked the weather before as well. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Oh. Cute, yeah, this is amazing, I love it. But also, bye. It's already 1 p.m. Okay, it's sunny tomorrow, I'm really lucky. Ooh. Anyway, I think Poppery should be inside her house right now. So we can actually go gift her here. Also talking to your bachelorette of choice is important. It doesn't only give affection points, it also prevents that random drop that you can technically get every day. So that's really good. It's already summer 18th, my goodness. Time is flying. 
And tomorrow we have to go TV shopping again, our favorite pastime. <laughs> We're gonna warp again as well. I already did all the TV shopping, right? Kitchen, the kitchen, all right. Yeah, we cleared already, nice. Okay, let me save. Now we warp again. Okay. Alrighty. And now we buy the kitchen, which is... Awesome! An entire kitchen for 4,000. It's a pretty realistic price, but then you think about the mirror being like 2,000. And that's kind of weird. But... That's... maybe that's just me? <laughs> Alrighty. Can I actually go inside now? No, I can't. Not yet, at least. Soon, TM. Trust. Soon. Alright. Now we need a farm warp save again. Oh. If I could only make one. No! <laughs> Stop! Stop! Game! Please. All right, here we go. Save. Thing is, you really want to be like making the farm warps with Kiara, just because. Because <sighs> if you set them wrong, it's just like a pain to adjust, and your warps will fail and all that. So it's a good thing to get them right. Oh yeah, the purple heart event is also something we already had. Um, all right. Let's see. I don't think we can go inside yet. No, but soon. I think it's like one or two more gifting days, then we should be able to go inside early. Because we also missed one day earlier. But that also heavily depends on RNG. So for example, if you're unlucky, you're having a lot of rainy days, everything kind of shifts to the back. You have to make up later with like gifting and all that. Alrighty. And now what we do is we basically just gift. We just do gifts. Uh, not today because it's storming. But today we can gift again. Which is nice. Yeah, weather is a big factor. Like, as much as horse RNG decides, weather can also decide a lot. But I'm gonna say, I guess, especially with Poppery and also Anne, like, you get access to them very early in the day, so... It's not impossible to get a good time. Really curious what time I'm gonna get with uh, the horse race, but being a bit... Unlucky here. Tomorrow we have to save again. It's also fireworks festival, so she won't leave the house. So on the festival days, um, they also don't leave the house. It's like a different schedule on those days. And now we check the weather again to see if Saturday is not a storm, so we can actually order stuff oh my god and it is a storm we're so unlucky with these 
Always so scared of hitting save accidentally. <laughs> oh. When I was a kid, I accidentally overwrote my file of three years and I cried. I cried a lot. Um... Oh, we can go inside. Amazing. So now we can actually go to her super early. And now we made up for the day that we missed earlier. So this is actually perfect because this is an optional gift day. Oh, so good. Alrighty. Come here, doggo. <laughs> we gotta celebrate. Gonna go TV shop for a seasoning set. Amazing. And so, obviously, like you would think, oh, we can go inside and gift her. Um, but actually, on the day you wanna do something else, you wanna actually wait outside. And the main reason for that is actually that we want time to pass. Whenever you enter a building, it's not just loading time, it's also like time is frozen. So, for example, if, like, we want to go to the inn and order an item, like, now it's already seven. Um, and now we have less downtime in between. Um, because time was passing already. If we would have entered the house, no time would have passed. It would have taken us, you know, the same time to, like, give her the gift. And you, you, get, you get it, right? Like, it's just optimizing towards this. And um, now we're just gonna... Wait until the inn is open. Oh my god, this always happens to me. <laughs> I always talk to Kai, and Kai is actually my arrival, so we actually don't want to talk to him. Talk to the hand. No, sorry, my hands are actually busy farming and speedrunning. <sighs> and because we're already here, we can also now fill up chocolates again. Shoutouts to Desert for the amazing routing, because everything here is working out pretty perfectly. All right. Another s episode of Let Me In. And we're gonna buy nine chocolates. And we're gonna wrap them. Like the good uh, love interest. How, what's the opposite of a love interest? The interest tea? <laughs> I don't know. The man. <laughs> we are the man. So we actually gonna wrap our gifts. M men, lis listen up. Wrapping your gifts is actually so cool and you should totally not underestimate the effect it has. I was at boarding school and we learned how to wrap gifts and how to wrap our books as well, like our school books. <laughs> Alright. Got it. And now we can warp back to the farm. Uh, save. And load. And... Magic trick! Amazing. <laughs> All right. I think we did everything. We don't have to save. Just making sure. Just making sure. Saving can be so crucial. <sighs> All righty. Um, it's Sunday, so no gift day. The next couple of days, we pretty much just do the same every day. We just give poppery gifts so she likes us more. Which, you know, good for us. Good for, good for us. And the chocolate business. And the chocolate industry. Ah, uh, what's your favorite chocolate, everyone? I really love bitter chocolate. I don't know. But there's also like this amazing vegan chocolate made out of rice milk with coffee, so good. 
but honestly I'm not very picky when it comes to chocolate. I wonder if warping back is actually faster. It's not very far. I think it might be faster actually. I could try it. Dog? Oh my god, you're over there. Doc, please. Why are you so far away from me? Let's hope we don't have too many rainy days. Yeah. I thought so. Um, actually, I don't think it matters. I think we can actually still enter the building. Yeah, I'm so used to the Ann runs because when you do the Ann runs, um, you actually can't gift her on rainy days unless you wait like forever. But Poppery, super amazing. We got the blue heart. Yo, let's go. A yo. Oh, I should have tried the warp. Alrighty. Alright. Now we don't have to save anymore because the next Saturday is actually in fall and in fall there's no random storms anymore. So that's amazing. It's the 30th of summer. So the fun fun part is like, so every bachelorette in Harvest Moon Friends of Miller Town has a rival. And they can also marry the rival, which is something I really miss in the newer games. Like, I think they should all marry off. Like, why should I be the only one, right? Um... Okay, let's see if this actually works, if I'm losing time here. Yeah, that's, I think it's a little faster. <laughs> So basically, once Poppery marries Kai, who is only in Mineral Town for the summer, Poppery will also only be in Mer Mineral Town for the summer. And I think that's our split. If my silly life split would actually split. <sighs> Having some pretty good, pretty good run, I think. One hour. Oh. oh, okay. I give up. <laughs> I'll just run back. Sometimes you just gotta know. I love autumn and harvest moon, by the way. Like, it's my favorite season. Everything looks so pretty. I love it. The music is amazing. It's just so... I don't know, kind of majestic, but also like very cozy. Now we just gift Poppery again. Priest asks us if we're available for the music festival. I had a clip once of the music festival <laughs> and I like screen recorded it and then I put the music of WAP under it by Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion and it was the best thing I've ever made. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm proud of my work. Someone has to do it. Okay, so tomorrow's TV shopping day. But we don't have to do anything else because it's music festival, so... No poppery. And actually, like, the houses are actually closed on those days, so you can't even enter the house. Um, a knife. Amazing. So with the TV shopping, you just have to watch a little bit of it and it will, like, unlock. But it can't be too little. Like, if you only watch, like, a mini second, it's actually not gonna trigger. And it's really, really interesting. That sort of phenomenon. Also, sorry, I think rewards are spamming WhatsApp again. <laughs> rewards if you're watching this. <laughs> All right. Next gift. I 
Can't do it. Alright. Save. Load. Actually, not sure if I'm faster. Maybe a little bit. Alright. Next couple of days should be easy. Just gifting and then... On Thursday, we buy the knife. It's actually so nice to not be weather dependent on gifting. That's so interesting. That is so interesting for me. Because usually with Anne, I'm always like, oh, let it be a sunny day. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I almost thought, because the hitboxes are sometimes a bit awkward. So sometimes you will just throw something on the ground that you want to give someone. And yeah, that's just the reality of things. Sometimes you just throw things on the ground for no reason, but also that's pretty rude. And I don't want to litter in the houses. <laughs> it just makes me feel bad. And uh, also, obviously, then we have one gift less, so the entire schedule kind of shifts with the gifting and all. But you know what? Sometimes you also have to just, like, communicate your boundaries to your love interests. Please let me do this. Thank you. <laughs> for once. Thanks. Alrighty. And bed. <sighs> so today we buy the knife, so that means we actually like gift potpourri outside and then we have to buy more chocolate. We can do this, I believe. So now we just wait outside again because we want time to pass. And we're basically just stringing everything together, like ordering the item, going to the supermarket for chocolates. As always, you you love, you gotta love the efficiency. I also love efficiency. Like in the morning when I get up, the first thing I do is well, I turn on my PC, then I go into the kitchen, I turn on the kettle. Then I go into the bathroom to brush my teeth. And then by the time I'm done, the water is like done for my coffee. I make my coffee and by the time I come back into the, my room, my PC is all like up and running. So you could say that I'm... I'm, I'm a speedrunner IRL too. <laughs> I was made for this. <laughs> Got the knife. And now we wait until the supermarket opens. Amazing. <laughs> ah, so good. Mm. Supermarket time. Du -du -du -dum 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 -dum. Here we go. I wonder if, like, the people in Mineral Town are judging me for only buying chocolate. Like, I literally only go to the supermarket to buy chocolate. And I mean, I would never judge anyone doing that. But I wonder if they do. Because they must assume that my entire diet is just chocolate. And then I also wrap them, so... Uh, maybe they know that I'm gifting it away. But maybe they do judge me. Maybe they're thinking I'm a tryhard. Which is true. I wish I could just like wrap them all together. That would be so nice. And we did it. And now we just have to warp back as well. Here we go. Save. 
Load. And load. Amazing. <laughs> now we just have to go to bed again without our dog. And I feel bad about that. Even like a second night, because on the 9th it's Harvest Fest. Harvest Fest. Harvest Festival, so... That means that no one's gonna be home. Sad times. Takes forever, honestly. Okay, now we clear Zack, who's bringing us our knife, which is amazing. Thanks for the knife, but I absolutely have no nothing bad to do with that. Frying pan. Gotta love a good frying pan. We're not gonna order it today, though. We're actually gonna wait until Thursday again. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna gift Poppery. Here we go. All right. I'm just gonna run back. If I don't get it right away, I think I'm just gonna run back because I think that I'm losing time. Like the positioning. I'm also gonna say this controller here is maybe not like ideal. Should probably try different ones. Um, yeah. And then it's Sunday again, so we sleep. And on Monday, we just do the same. Just the same. Eat, gift, warp, repeat. <laughs> and obviously hold the doggo. Okay. Thanks, I love it too. I love you too. All right. Here we go. Now we go to bed again. Tomorrow is also a festival. There's a lot of festivals in fall and I really actually love the Harvest Moon Festival. It's like, it's a... Uh, full moon festival today actually and there's always like super cute like little gatherings and like you can talk to the villagers actually kind of sad that we don't see that in this run like even the fireworks festival you get some affection points with your bachelorette if you like watch the fireworks with them but um it's comparably not a lot i think you only get like I think it only compares to one or two gifts, like it's really not much and it doesn't uh, pay out to wait the entire day for that. Because the festival starts in the evening. So we actually don't get to see that a lot. Alright, and tomorrow is Thursday again. So we're actually gonna wait outside for her and then buy the the frying pan. It doesn't really pay out for like these last couple of items to make another in warp save. It does take more time and we save more time by warping back to the farm. We actually can't wait outside today, unfortunately. If it was sunny, we would, but she's not gonna leave the house on a rainy day, so we actually go inside. And then we just wait for the inn to open. Alrighty. In. Let me in. Get it? Let me in. <laughs> Oh god. Like, no, I don't think anyone's gonna watch this full run ever. If you did just hear this joke, please let me know in the comments. Because I'm really proud of this one and it makes me happy. 
<laughs> we're literally over an hour in. I don't expect people to watch these long videos at all. So. All right. But we can warp back to the farm, which is at least something. So, frying pan. And then... I'm gonna save here. We're gonna load. And then... Load here. Alrighty. Amazing. And now the next couple of days are pretty much the same again. The gift poppery. It's gifting time. It's gifting time. Here could be your donations for a charity marathon. <laughs> or some some banter with whoever is commenting. That's the dream at least. But these runs are so comfy, like I really love them. They're so fun. Also, I love the game, like, it's just crafted with so much love. I love the color palette, I love the the overall pixel art style, like, having another game in this style, like, this exact style would, like... I'd... myself. <laughs> Good beep. We, we stay safe for ads. Okay, we're gonna clear Mayor and Zack tomorrow's horse race again but the second horse race is much more chill than the first one because we actually have money so only when we're like super unlucky I never had to hard reset any of those races um, the pot amazing then we're just gonna gift poppery Oh, we got the green heart. Amazing. Ah, so good. Then tomorrow is Sunday, which is perfect because that means we're actually not missing out on a gift day. Now, I always like to save the day before, but I think I'm just going to risk it. We're going to be fine in terms of... In terms of like racing because we have a fairly we actually have a fairly big budget here we just have to spend less than 13k so if any of the races has like a multiplier that is not just one or two like we'll be so fine because now we can actually do 99 and that's like 5k i think i'm gonna go get myself some water real quick because I'm so thirsty and this is literally just downtime here while we wait until the race work, um, starts, so I'll be right back. Professional. Perfect. Oh, I was so thirsty. Like, I'm always thirsty on main, but, you know, sometimes I need some water too. Actually, in these cases, it's good that race two and three are always random because the soft reset will be enough. Um, and we don't have to make another farm warp. It's actually probably going to save us some time. We just need 30 brooches again, like we don't need anything special. All we need money is for the second house expansion. So I'm just like saving again here. And let's go. So usually the horse with the lowest multiplier wins. Or like horse number three. So we'll see what we get. 
Uh, it's not ideal, but you know what? We take it. Unless another horse wins, then we reset. Oh, is horse number four actually gonna make it? Horse number four? I don't think three is gonna catch up. I'm gonna wait and then I'm gonna like reset the game and bet on four. Yeah. Okay, now load data two. And now we're gonna bet on four. And that's actually perfect because that's gonna give us all the medals we'll ever need in our entire life. Um, obviously the resetting is not ideal, but... Valkyrie. Valkyrie is making the race. I should have known, like... Stan Valkyrie. Valkyrie. But yeah, that means we don't have to bet on any of the other races, which is amazing, so... Shoutouts. Wow, he's leaving the competition behind. My goodness. Gee. So yeah, horse, uh, race number one will always be the same, and then the others are random. So in case you're unlucky here and you get like times one multiplier are a thing, they're like rare. Or times two multipliers. Um, but even with the times two multiplier, I think you could be okay. Like even if one race has it, like I usually just go for the lowest and then see what happens. Um, and if I have to bet on a second race, that's fine because you have a 13k budget, meaning you can bet 99 on two and a half race. Like you can bet 99 in two races and then you can also bet a little bit more in the third race so it should be fairly easy to get your 400 and 540 medals and in case of doubt you reset to before and then race two and three are going to be random again so but yeah in the in spring this is obviously much more rng heavy because you have a very limited amount of money like as you could see earlier, we could only afford like 40 medals. Alright, here we go. Now we're done. Actually, let me lay down my... My basket. Like a professional. And then we're gonna do brooches. One. I'm gonna count this time. Two. Three. Four. Count with me, chat. <laughs> Count in the comments with me. Five. Six. Seven. Wouldn't have mattered. Eight. <sighs> Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. <laughs> Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two.
So you notice I have a couple of necklaces too. With the amount of with the amount of metals we have, it does not matter because they sell for the same price. But necklaces are two metals more expensive. But as I said, we have so many it didn't matter. And then the menu is just a little closer. Alright, perfect. So that was horse race, the full horse race. Next split. We're just gonna go gift poppery again on these next two days. See how that works out for us. She loves it! Amazing. which is awesome 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 <laughs> it's awesome how my uk and australian friends would say awesome okay anyone prefer the word autumn over fall because i do and sometimes i feel a little read about it but I think it's because autumn is the word I learned first oh. ah I thought I get it it's okay we just run back probably just as fast tomorrow is the sheep festival so we sleep get it because it's the sheep festival so we're counting the sheep on the sheep festival <laughs> Then on Thursday, we pretty much do the same thing again. We, um... Wait outside for poppery unless it's a rainy day. And then we buy... Oh, of course it is a rain. Of course it is a rainy day. What? What is with these rainy Thursdays? That's okay. We'll be fine. Trust. Trust. Okay. Go give her the gift. Here we go. But we actually need to do something else today, which is buying the pot and then the chocolates. The thing is, we need to do this on the Thursday, so Zach will deliver us the item on Saturday so we can shop the next one. The reason why we actually shop items in this game is because at the end of the game, we need to obviously get married, and one of the marriage requirements is actually having the big bed. Harvest Moon is an innocent children's game but they want us to have the big bed so a second person can sleep in it totally makes sense it's nothing ambiguous at all so um in order to do that we actually need to have bought all the other items um before the bed before we can actually buy it and we need to have the next house expansion too so that's definitely something that's going to come up very soon and now we just uh, fill up on chocolates again. Which is perfect. Because we're out. It's raining, please. Does anyone have an umbrella? I love these blue flowers, by the way, in fall as well. I wonder why they chose blue flowers and nothing like more aut autumnal. Like orange or red or or so, but they're very pretty. There's also a red version of them, 
But I think you can only get the red ones when you are, um, when you sow them out yourself on your field. So that's like, uh, they can be, have a red color randomly. And I think you need them for something, but I forgot for what. Need to my brush, need to brush up my knowledge about this game again. I have like the best childhood memories because I didn't have internet at the time I got this game. And I used to go to the library, like to the public library in my in my little town, and I would go to the internet there. I would actually pay money to use the internet there. And then I would also pay money to like print out, well, I didn't always have it. So I, I used to take a little notebook with me to like write down all the tips about this game, like all the recipes and stuff um, from like websites and Sometimes I could afford to print them too. Oh my god, that was actually, I think, a close one. I think I was a little bit off in the positioning there. All right. Tomorrow we save before sleeping. Let me not forget because I'm a candidate for that, it seems. I really lucked out on this run, I think. Like, in many different ways, I lucked out on this run. But yeah. Me not forget. Papuri, here's your daily chocolate. <laughs> I wonder what she does with the chocolate. She's probably eating it. Do you think she's hoarding it? I think she's just hoarding the chocolate. Okay, let me not forget to save. Save Ella. Save. For the love of God, save. Save girl. XOXO gossip girl. Um, save. Perfect. We need a sunny Sunday. So that's why we're saving. So we just check the weather right away because in case it's not sunny, we're actually gonna... Reset. Sunny, that's amazing. I wonder if I need to watch TV shopping again. I don't think so. I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. Now, do we warp to the inn? Oh no, we actually don't. What am I saying? I don't even have an inn warp. Ugh. Oh, do we order it today? No, we don't. <laughs> Ella, go to bed. It's, it's late. Alrighty. Save, load. And load. Amazing. I don't know, the warping just doesn't get old for some reason. <laughs> like it's always fun to warp. So tomorrow we buy the mixer and then we're also going to get the next heart event and that's always going to be on a Sunday. So that's why we have to... That's why we do it on the Sunday because we have to actually wait a little bit. So we can't... Like we won't find the Puri on a Sunday or I think the house is closed. I forgot which one. But um, she's going to come up row square. So she's going to come up over here. I can just run around because I need f for the inn to open anyway. So she's gonna come up here and she's gonna go to the church. And that's where we're gonna talk to her and gift her. And then we're gonna follow her to the church because there we're gonna have her next heart event. Which is exciting. Very exciting indeed. All right. Open up! Thank you! Okay. <laughs> Let's go buy the mixer. Who doesn't love a good mixer? I have a mixer at home. I have like a really good mixer, like a 
like a big one, like a power mixer that I never use. And then I have a really shitty smoothie mixer that I bought for like 20 bucks when I was still living in the UK. And I still use that one because it's so much handier and smaller. Oh, it's terrible. Oh yeah, we have to wait for Poppery to come up here. <sighs> and then we follow her to church. We, we're hoping we're not going to burst in flames when we enter. Because I have no idea why that would happen. Makes no sense. <laughs> I'm a good farmer. There she is. All right. Just going to follow her. Not creepy or anything. No, no, no. No. All right. Okay, here we go. The kids want to play and the priest doesn't have time, so they ask us to to play with the kids and we're going to play like mom and dad and children and it's like a bit heteronormative, you know, but um, the kids are actually cute in this game. And it just means a lot to Poppery. And then Stu is crying. And Mai is going after him. All right. And I got like these little mud balls. Why ever that is the special gift, but it is the special gift from Poppery. Um, yeah, we're just going to put that into our shelf because we don't we can't have it clog our inventory. <laughs> So that's what the shelf is for. The shelf is actually for all non-food related items. Oh, and that was my split as well, so... Oopsies. Yeah. <laughs> the splits are like totally messed up anyway. So now in the next couple of days we're just gonna go gift her again. And then it should be winter soon. All right. Four more days until winter. And on Thursday, we actually need to save again because the next Saturday is already going to be in winter. So that means the first winter day actually can be a storm, which is a little unfortunate. But yeah, it all starts again. Same procedure as every year. Oh, thanks for the mixer, my guy. I was waiting for that. You know, mixer is like one of these gifts that you get as an adult that is actually like amazing like you would never be happy about that as a kid like there's certain gifts that you would just never be happy about as a kid like i don't know new underwear or bedding her heart is yellow now or or like socks or like yeah kitchen utensils and my brother got me like the like these like salad tongs last year and i, I love them so much like Something I would have never, th you know, as a kid, that would have been the worst gift ever. And now I'm just like, I use them like once a week at least. And I'm always so happy that I have them because I would have never bought that for myself. Like, why wouldn't I just use a spoon, right? But those like little adult luxury gifts, <laughs> like, <laughs> are like same with bedding. Like, I'm like, oh, I have bedding. I can just wash it, right? Like, I don't need another, another set and... And you get another set and then you're like, oh my god, this is actually so nice. Maybe it's just me, but... <laughs> There's also a couple of things that I definitely like afforded that are just like making your life so much easier as an adult. Like, obviously only if you can, but it really does pay out to invest money in like a good mattress because that's where you, you know, you sleep 
pretty big amount in a day. Some more, some less. Um, we're gonna have to save today as well, so let me not forget. Nice towels are also really good to have, like just a nice set of towels that is just like comfy. Um, a good set of, of knives, even though I need to actually like sharpen my knives. Uh, my brother has to do it when he comes visit next time. Um, and yeah, the switch here, here I afforded last year. And it has made a world of a difference. I'm not sponsored or anything by them, obviously not, but uh, it's a Herman Miller sale chair. And I always thought like they look so small and weird, but they're actually amazing. Like it's actually such a good chair. I love it. I don't think I can ever sit on anything else again. Almost anything else. <laughs> what? Oh God. Okay. Listen, didn't say that. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just gonna go gift poppery again. It's the last day of autumn. That's so sad. But we got it. Got through. I decided to just not warp here. It's also nice to just see the chickens when I come in and leave. Like, they're so unaware that we're in a speedrun right now. They're just living their life, you know, it's kind of cute. So today's the pumpkin festival, meaning like the the kids are actually gonna... Oh my god, it's a snowstorm day. Oh, I'm so unlucky. I should have checked the weather right away, but I'm glad we saved. That is so unlucky. I think I just lost a minute. Oh, hate that. Hate that for me. <laughs> Okay, let me... Yeah, now, of course, now it's sunny. I have to do this again now, I'm sorry. Yeah, I should have checked the weather right away. Of course! But, also, we were really lucky earlier when we didn't save, so I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. But I don't think I ever had so many storm day in days announced. I think we had, like, two announced. Like, now three, and then we had one that actually happened randomly, so lots of stormy stuff happening here. I don't like it. <laughs> Alright. Maybe I shouldn't talk so much and concentrate on the run. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't know, I just love this game. I love talking about it, okay? Just love talking about it. <gasps> and now we got the winter music, and now we can TV shop. A whisk. <sighs> and today's a sunny day, so Popper is actually gonna come out. So the equivalent of rain in the winter is obviously snow. And now we can actually gift her outside, so time is passing. And now we're actually gonna set an in-warp safe again. Interesting. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Stop! I'm so bad. I hope we get there in time. <laughs> oh no. Please, if someone gets my bad in jokes, then write it in the comments. Please and thanks. No one's gonna watch this, but you know what? Don't stop believing. Gonna go order the item. The whisk. Now we're gonna set the warp save. I think this should be enough. Hopefully. We'll see. In case of doubt we can adjust, but that should be should be okay. It looked okay to me. Now we're gonna buy more chocolates again. We're gonna wrap them. And then we're not gonna warp back, we're actually gonna run back. Feels bad. Alright. Nine chocolates! The usual, please! <laughs> no, not 99. Oops. 
<laughs> grave mistake, grave, <laughs> grave mistake. Imagine. Run killer, 99 chocolates. Chocolate! <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> oh god. If there's ever someone commenting with me on this, I need to like let them in on the meme and we have to like do the chocolate. <laughs> oh my god. Whenever I'm like visiting friends in the US, because I'm in Germany, so I always like bring them German chocolate and then they're always like, oh my god, this is so good. And I'm like, yep, it's the best. Even though I think Milka is technically from Switzerland as well. Just like Lind. And now we're just gonna go back. We're gonna run back. We're gonna run the long way back. Ah, oh, it hurts. <laughs> it actually hurts when you can't warp. So funny. Now we just sleep until Sunday again because... On, well, on, until Monday because... Yeah. Let's hope we don't get too many storm days. Because the storms are the only event that can let it keep us out. Like we can't even leave the house on a storm day. And that means for every storm day we need to have a makeup day later. Before we can get married. Uh, this is also my split. Do that in a sec. Thanks for the whisk! Alright. I really like the winter mornings. They look so festive, but also kind of gloomy, cold. I always imagine I make like a hot cup of chocolate. It's kind of nice. Kind of nice. So tomorrow is the 4th of the month, so that means one comes visit visiting and that means we should hold an item before we leave the house. Unless it's storming tomorrow, but we'll see. So the thing is we just don't check the weather because, you know, it actually takes more time to like check and reset than to just like do additional days later on. Oh my gosh, I just almost forgot. <laughs> Whoo, okay. Phew. Good. No talkie, more speedy, Ella. More speed. I am speed. Alright, here we go. Have your chocolate, woman. Now we just go back. We're pretty much doing the same thing every day now. We're just gonna gift her until her heart turns another color. Orange and red are next. As soon as the heart is red, we can get married. On Thursday, we have to save again, so let me not forget that. <sighs> oh, it's storming. Alrighty. One day missed. I'm gonna just like try to keep track of it. We missed one day. Uh, oh, yeah. Let me not forget to save before I sleep. But yeah, this run is so good, like... We actually don't have to... Skip days due to snow. It's really good. Let's go. Oh, yeah, safe. Safe, Ella. We did the save! And now I check the weather because I'm smart. I'm a smart speedrunner. Today's another storm day? I can't check the weather. Well, then we just have to hope that it's not another storm day. So that means we missed two days now due to storms. That's so unlucky. So unlucky. A rolling pin. 
think that's the last item we need for the kitchen. So we missed two gift days. Just gonna see that we can make that up later on. But we'll see. On Sunday we sleep again. Tomorrow could be a storm day. Why not on the Sundays? Come on. Come on, game. Just storm on the Sundays, but no other day. Pliss. Pliss and thank you. Please, no storm. I want to miss more than two days. Please. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Okay. We got this. We got this. I'm sure. I'm sure we got this. Somehow. Right? Tomorrow we have to save before sleeping. Let me not forget that. It's on the Tuesday. Because I think we're going to trigger the heart event next. Alrighty. For Thursday. Oh my god. I think that's something we can't skip. Yeah, no. Yeah, we can't skip that one. He's trying to sell us a vase where he can put in flowers, and if we will play the game normally, the flowers I think give you more energy in the day. Or something like that. And they also look pretty. I always like to keep some flowers throughout the years that I then put in the vase and it just looks very nice. But not today! Not in this run! Okay, we need to save. Let me not forget. Save, save, save. Nice. Now we check the weather. We actually need a sunny day. It can't be snowy, it also can't storm, so... Because it does snow quite a bit in winter. Yeah, tomorrow is a snow... Again, a snowstorm. I've never had so many snowstorms. Plus, Gim, give me sunny day. Thank you. Appreciate it too. Then we save again before sleeping. So tomorrow we do the yellow heart event. Exciting! Very exciting. Scoot out of here. And we save before sleeping again. We just need a sunny Friday, so I need to check the weather and reset in case we get yet another storm, which at this point I wouldn't even be surprised about. No, it's sunny! Oh my god, that's fantastic! So now because we need time to... ...go by... We're actually not gifting poppery. But why am I not gifting her here already? Oh my god, her heart is orange! Amazing! That means we can buy the blue feather. But I don't think we can buy it right away. I think we could buy it tomorrow. Oh, that's really unfortunate. 
maybe we can do it on Saturday then. But we can check because we need to buy chocolates anyway. I'm gonna buy the rolling pin. Then we're gonna buy chocolates again. So the usual, you know, you know the drill by now. And then we need to enter poultry farm at 11.20, so we have a little bit of downtime in between. Then we're also going to get the last house upgrade today, which is also very exciting. Alrighty, chocolate! Eight pieces, please! It always shows you on the bottom how much you have, which is actually quite handy. And wrap! Speed wrap! Ooh. Oh, I think we had a leftover because of the one stormy day. Hmm. I need to do something with this. I think I need to gift one chocolate to someone because I don't think I can hold anything in my hands to trigger the heart event. Yeah. I'll just give one to Jeff. No, he hates chocolate, I think. And Karen, too. Who am I gonna give the chocolate to? Ah, oh, it's okay, I have time. I can throw one away at the row square. <gasps> we can actually buy the blue feather on the same day! I did not know that! I didn't know that it would be an immediate thing. I thought it would be an overnight thing. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, we're actually not gonna give the chocolate to anyone. I'm just gonna throw it away. Here we go. We're on the way, so. <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, we had one chocolate too many, which is why this was a little thrown out of concept. But yeah, we just wait here now. I'm gonna have a sip of water. I'm gonna get ready for the next split. Also, the split times, losing and gaining times, it doesn't mean as much because... Um... Because the route before was different. So Popperies, and I think Rick has to be in there as well. Which is why we have to wait until 11.20. Yeah, there he is. Alright, here we go. They're fighting! Because their dad left to find a cure for their mom because their mom is sick. And I'm gonna go option three. Poor Lilia, actually, yeah. Now we get like this dialogue is a bit faster. That's it already. So we actually get affection points with all of them. Because you can side with Poppery, then you get affection points with her. If you side with Rick, you're gonna be uh, out of luck. You're not gonna get any affection points. I'm gonna buy 700 lumber. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven. Amazing. And the house expansion. Please and thank you. And then we're just gonna go back. And we need to save again before sleeping. <laughs> Alright, saving, and now we basically just wait for Poppery's heart to turn red and to order the big bed. That's the only two things that are left for us to do. Okay, save. Did I save? I hope I did. Okay. Um, it's sunny. Tomorrow, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, she's gonna come to the farm because today is... Um, so there's two Valentine's Days. There's one day where the girls give the, the boys and on one day the boys give the girls. And in winter it's the this one and then she comes to our house and gives us chocolate and we're just gonna um actually give it back to her <laughs> 
She loves it. Amazing. So yeah. <sighs> now we're just gonna wait for the Saturday for more TV shopping. Here we go, we get the rolling pin. You can make noodles with the rolling pin. There's so many like amazing recipes in this game and I think there's just something about pixel art fruit that just makes it look so good. An oven. And we're gonna warp to the inn. Oops. If I can. All right, perfect. And then we go to Poppery. So now that we can enter Poppery's house, we're actually not saving time by waiting until she comes out and waiting for the inn to open as well. So we can just warp into the inn and then go into her house and it's just much faster. Much faster. She loves it. Amazing. I love that for us, you know? I love that for us. Okay. So on Monday we talk again and gift again. Basically really just waiting for the heart at this point. Hope we can do it. Oh yeah. Sleep. <clears throat> Monday. Now we have the house expansion. You see there's more space now next to our bed, which is amazing. So that means we can actually like buy the big bed very soon. The world record for this one is at two hours and three minutes. And honestly, like it had to like, that must be such a flawless run. I'm so in awe about it, like clearing this in two hours. All right, gifting. Really hope we're not gonna be too unlucky with the decrease um, RNG as well. And we're gonna do some extra gift days now. I believe, yeah. Do we still have chocolate? Um, actually, let me go to bed. We're just gonna save on the Thursday. Not entirely sure how much chocolate we have left. My brain wheels are turning. Um, it's okay. It's only a it's not a storm day. It's only a snow day. <laughs> All right. A large bed, amazing. So now we're gonna warp into the inn. And buy the big bed. I think on the way back we could go gift, actually. I'm gonna check the backpack. Still have enough chocolates left, actually, so... Let's go gift Poppery today because we're already on the way back. So that's perfect. 
And if this was a sub 210, my goodness. But it all depends on when the heart turns red now. Oops. See, I can't even propose to her yet, I think, because I <laughs> don't have the big bed. But yeah, we have three chocolates left, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go sleep. Until the toast day. And then we'll see if with the next gift the heart is gonna turn red. I don't think it will. Because we missed two days, so... Oh my god, it's Sunday. Sorry. Oh yeah, we're already like by far in the next split already. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oopsies. Um, Monday. I think I'm gonna go gift her. I'll do it. And then... If we're lucky, we might be able to propose tomorrow. But if not, we have another gift day tomorrow, which is nice. Oh no, today is a... Oh, it's the 24th. Oh my god, yeah. Big mistake. Big mistake! Why am I always messing up at the end? Why Why are my, my end of runs always so chaotic? <laughs> yep. Alright. Okay, big preach. No, we got this. In case of doubt we do two more gift days, but I think it I think it's doable. I think it's doable. Please, Poppery, please. Oh my god. Turn red. No, not today, okay. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah? You and me? Poppery, you and me? I just hope that I don't have to buy more chocolate. I guess I could give her some honey too, but that's just gonna slow me down. Please. Oh my god. It's gonna be close with that sub 2 to 10 if it doesn't turn red today or tomorrow. <sighs> Come on. Come on, we got this. Ugh. Oh. It's always, 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 always like this. Because you never know when it turns red. Oh, is it gonna be tomorrow? Please. Please let it be tomorrow. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Please don't be a storm day. No, the 30th is a vacation day. The days before should be okay, okay. Please don't let me, don't let me buy more chocolate. I think this is the last one I have. Uh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, please. Please, no. Oh my god. <sighs> so what am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna go buy more chocolate. I'm out, right? No, I have two more. Oh, I, I miscounted really hard. Okay, got two more. <sighs> yeah, no sub 210, but I believe in us. Believe. I believe. Come on. Come on, today's the day. Today, the 28th. I love the 28th. The Friday, best day of the week. Come on. Well, actually, it's Saturday, but let's just not be picky, okay? Please, Poppery, please. <gasps> oh my god, it's time! Proposal time! Oh my god, let's go. I'm so happy too! Button mash, button mash. This is literally just me going to bed now. Ah, uh, no, one minute is not enough. Oh, <laughs> that's so tragic. 
<laughs> that is so tragic. So close. Yeah, I messed up in between. It could have been a sub 210, but I did mess up in between. So it's not gonna be, but I think we could get second on the leaderboard with this. Maybe, if I remember correctly. Now it's springtime. We did our proposal on the 28th. So we're gonna get married on the 5th, I believe. Oh. No, that's gonna be so close, Nup Sub 210. <laughs> so close. Yeah. Goodbye, Sub 210. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. A lot of things went right on this run, so... Oh! There we go! Oh my god, that's so... <laughs> it's like with only a couple of seconds. The mess-ups really made a, a difference. Alright, and... Time. <laughs> oh my god, that was such a good run. <laughs> well, I still messed up, but it was really good. Oh my god. Oh. Amazing. Shout outs to Desert. <laughs> Thanks for the notes. You're amazing. Um. I don't know. I can. I feel like I can never thank Desert enough. Like he's, uh, he's so cool. Um, yeah, we did it. I actually want to check where that puts us on the speedrun leaderboard for this category. We are third. Okay, we have to beat two oh six. Oh my god. Okay, we're still third, but we improved our time by a whopping 18 minutes, actually. So, pretty good. One day I will get it. The sub two hours for this run would be a dream, actually. I should work on that. I should work on the sub, sub two hours, because I think this is the only bachelorette where it's possible because uh, she's so easy to reach in the mornings and you're not very weather dependent so actually i think it's actually possible with poppery also i run these on my twitch channel here and there i'm currently a little bit addicted to disney dreamlight valley but i do speed run these on twitch so maybe you want to stop by and hang out uh, or you want to join the Discord of the Harvest Moon speedrunners. Like, there's, uh, we're a small but very lovely community. And uh, people are super sweet and super helpful. And uh, the Harvest Moon games are a lot of fun to speedrun. Uh, in my opinion, because they're very cozy and they're not like the typical speedrun games. Um, but I really, I really enjoy them. So, so yeah, maybe you want to you wanna join us. I'll put the link in the description. All right. Have a good one. Take care and yeah, <laughs> bye.